So here we have the Seat Leon on a 14 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a three door car. We're gonna start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of it from there. As we approach the back of the car, you've got uh, reversing sensors, as you can see, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge. On the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles of the car. They're 81,118. You can change the information displayed above that from the digital readout uh, for the speedometer to various bits of trip computer information. And then we have other menus available here as well. And they're all accessed via these buttons. We then have stereo controls on the left-hand side. In the center, you'll find the stereo itself. We're on the radio menu at the moment. You can see we have DAB, FM, and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, hit the media button. Then there's a number of ways you can listen to your own music, and they include Bluetooth audio. So not only can you make and receive phone calls, you'll also be able to stream your music wirelessly as well after you paired your phone, which is done just here. Working our way down from that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, the fan speed in the middle here, you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed once it enters the car. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so that's off. Back on again, or hit auto. The car, as you could have, well, as you heard it doing there, will take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. Just above that, we can turn our parking sensors on and off, our stop and start on and off, uh, and you can change the driving setup of the car from comfort to sport, Cupra, or individual, which will allow you to customize those settings for yourself. Uh, and then finally, we have the six speed manual gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.